Hello, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting and a new video in our WooCommerce series. Hello again everybody, this is Christopher here with InMotion Hosting and another video in our WooCommerce series. In our last video we went through the installation of the WooCommerce plugin and we went through the setup wizard and we set up our WooCommerce storefront theme. In this video here, we're going to be setting up shipping zones. You may remember in our last video we had this notification at the top of the screen here that says set up shipping zones. Well, that's what we're going to do now. So you can go ahead and click that button, setting up shipping zones. And it takes us to the shipping section here. And just in case, if you didn't see that button or you closed that window, uh, the, w the way you can get to the shipping tab here is under the WooCommerce tab on the, on the left here. Click Settings. And I'll go ahead and dismiss the message. And once you've clicked on WooCommerce and then Settings, click on the Shipping tab. And you'll see our Shipping Zone menu pops up. So you see, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a shipping zone for our local, our local zip code. You'll see we already have a shipping zone set up here for the rest of the world. This would basically be everywhere outside of the shipping zones we set up. So for now, let's take a look at that one. You'll see it has a description here. This zone is used for shipping addresses that aren't included in any other shipping zone. Adding shipping methods to this zone is optional, so you don't have to do it, but let's just say if we wanted to, you see this little plus sign on the right here, it says add shipping method. So for the rest of the world, you might want to have a, a flat rate. You probably wouldn't do free shipping or local pickup. So let's say flat rate and click add shipping method. And if you click on flat rate, you can set the rate. Let's just say we want to make it $20. And then click Save Changes. And I'll just show you here, this is only affecting the flat rate for the rest of the world shipping zone. Click Save Changes. And now we can click the Shipping Zones link to go back. So now let's add a shipping zone for our, our zip code here. So let's call this zone name local. And we'll select our region. Let's just say United States. And since this is local, we're going to limit it to a zip code. So see the, the link here says limit to specific zip postcodes. So let's just say, for example, 90210. This is the zip code that comes to mind. All right, so save those changes. So now we have our region, United States, 90210. And you can be more specific if you want to. But under shipping methods here, we're going to click the plus sign. And let's say if you're within that zip code, you can do local pickup. Add shipping method. And if we click on local pickup, we can decide here, do we want to associate a cost with that? Or do you want to make it free? Let's just say local pickup is $5. And click save changes. Okay. So now let's add a shipping zone for, say, a, a different country like uh, the UK. Click on Shipping Zones. And at the bottom right again here, let's click Add Shipping Zone. Let's call this zone name UK. Let's select the region. 
United United Kingdom, there it is. And let's just say it's for the whole country, so we're not going to limit it to zip codes. And then click the plus sign on the right here to add a shipping method. Oh, we ought to just save it first. Okay. So now we have UK. Let's add a method. Let's just say it's a flat rate if you're in the UK. Add shipping method. So we'll click on flat rate, which will only apply to our UK region. And let's just say we have a, a flat rate cost fifteen dollars. We'll click save changes. So now we have three different shipping zones set up, and we'll go to our store. and we'll see how our shipping zones are applied when purchasing product. Click on the InMotion Hosting shirt here, or whatever your product may be. And let's say we want to add this to the cart, and we'll view our cart. So here's the InMotion Hosting shirt. So you see it, it, it's assuming that I'm in the rest of the world, but we can click Calculate Shipping and get more specific here. So let's say I'm in, I'm in the United States. I could put California, but let's just say we, we can get specific. Put in my zip code. So you'll see I have the local pickup option available for that zone. So that changes the shipping from $20, which was the cost for the rest of the world, to a very specific, much lower $5, and lo local pickup. So there, they can proceed to checkout and fill in their information. And that's how you set up shipping zones and shipping methods in WooCommerce. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you may like and subscribe below, and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.